Well, can you hear it? I hope you can hear it. There's the new uh, AC. It's uh, right now. It's just um, uh, test fitted, I guess you'd say. It's still just resting on where it's going to go in the bottom there. You can see it resting on a edge. I haven't shoved it all the way back in because these side panels here uh, use an accordion pleated stuff like this, and I'm going to have to I'm going to have to cut this down. It's too big. There's too much there, so I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it down in order to fit it into the spaces where it goes right over here. I just have styrofoam there to keep any hot air from bleeding into the coach from behind it. Um, just basically to temporarily seal it so I can test the efficiency of the of the uh, air conditioning unit. But, um, yeah, I have to cut down those accordion pleats. Um, I'll leave the side that slides, slides in. I can leave that side, and then I can, on the other side, I can, where it now kind of snaps into a groove, I can um, cut it and then rivet it into the side material. And then the side material also this side uh, framework here you can kind of see some air through there and I'm going to drill holes in that and then bolt it to this upright here that is creates this um, closet or compartment on the side I'm going to bolt it from this side uh, this side in and uh, hopefully that'll work out. Uh, each thing is kind of built on, on the former, but the good news is it fits. Um, it's going to look nice. It works. And just an FYI, I did order that Sportsman generator, and it should be in in about a week to 10 days. So it'll be exciting to get that and um, see if that's going to be sufficient to power this air conditioner. The air conditioner I'm happy with. Um, it's going to be a shade air conditioner. If I park in direct sunlight, uh, this thing is going to be tortured in order to keep the van cool. The van can heat up faster and it can cool it down. So it's going to definitely be a situation where I'll have to find some a little bit of shade to park in and deploy the generator and then uh, everything will be cool. Uh, literally cool. Okay, well I've got a few things to say about air conditioning. Um, there's a lot more to know than uh, I thought. Now, today I took the uh, Frigidaire air conditioner, I assembled all the little parts, I made the cuts, I did all the things I had to do to make the assembly work out so that the, the face of it will look uh, nice and neat. I figured out how I'm going to mount it. Um, what I'm going to do to uh, to attach the little accordion pieces. I have to trim those down because they're too thick. The thing wouldn't fit in there as thick as they are, so I have to cut them down and then mount them um, differently than they originally mounted them, but that's not a problem. You'll see that as it moves along here because I want people to be able to just go out and buy the parts and do this job 
and have good results with it. Um, that's what any how-to video should be. So that's what that's my intention. Um, but back to refrigeration. The original air conditioner uh, has vents on the side and a big open area in the back that looks like a radiator. Now I took some paper, some styrofoam, and I put it on the sides with the new air conditioner running. The side vents draw in. The big square opening in the back blows out and there's a there's a big fan in the back of in the air conditioner that blows air two directions so it's it's um, ducted to blow air through the front vents that's cool and then the exhaust air that's hot because that's how you make refrigeration you you generate heat um, you through the gases and compressing gases and so forth and then you dissipate the heat and that creates coolness in in the other half the refrigeration part and then that cool um, surface is what the air coming into the van blows over and obviously makes cool air but that other hot air is a problem you have to get rid of it now a uh, air conditioner like this frigid air is designed to fit in a window so the idea there is the hot air is out outdoors and the cool air is indoors so a little part of the air conditioner sits inside and a big part of the air conditioner sits outside so all that hot air can just waft out into the atmosphere however in the back of the road trek it's not in I mean it's open to air there are vents back there but it's not open to the air like it would be just sitting in a window. So I ran it for a while today and after a while I was in the van and I was sweating and I was hot and I'm saying this thing isn't working. What's wrong? And so I felt the sides and they were just real hot. And I'm thinking well they should, cool air should be coming you know ambient air should be coming in it shouldn't be getting that hot but air is a fluid just like water and you're essentially pumping air you're 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 pumping air like you would pump water well if you have a if you have air or you have a a, a situation where you can't create a pressurized movement you do something called cavitation which is it just kind of loops around loops around and just if it's in a car like in a car radiator if you have cavitation it just gradually heats up heats up heats up and pretty soon the car will overheat until you get that that air that's in the system that's causing the cavitation causing the air not to or the water not to circulate uh, until you get rid of that it's uh, you're, you're uh, gonna overheat exactly what happened to this air conditioner same thing only instead of it being water it's air air and water are both fluids they both act the same in in that way so what that means is the the air was just looping around and the hot air was coming being drawn back in and continually heating up the air conditioner so now it gets to a point where it's like yeah you got air you got air here that's like 180 degrees 140 150 degrees um, I'm doing the best I can but I can only refrigerate it down to about 
you know, 80, 80, 75, that's kind of the best I can do, maybe a 50 degree drop. Well, so it's 80 degrees inside of the van. I'm really, it's like I'm sweating in, inside the van because it's hot. So what I did was I took that endless breeze fan I had and I put it outside the van. I hung it up there in front of the vents and uh, turned it on. And what happened? Well, it sucked all of that hot air right out the back of the van out of that boxed in area where the air conditioner lives and so I get inside the air I get inside the van I feel the side and the side is not cool to the touch but it's certainly not hot like it was it's maybe lukewarm if that maybe 70 like room temperature I would call it now I put my hand in front of the air conditioner where the outlet is to make the cool air and it's ice cold. So that tells me exactly what was going on. The air conditioner was unable to do its job because the hot air around it just kept stagnating and staying there and heating up more and more until that box became uh, untenable to to cool down any kind of reasonable temperature. Once that air was able to move out, be drawn in and, and blown out, uh, everything worked fine. So like I say, it's, it's a lesson to me. Maybe it'll help somebody that's struggling with um, figuring out how to make their air conditioner work better. Uh, maybe they think it's broken or not working and maybe it was just not installed properly so I have a fix and um, I'll be going through that when I finalize the installation I have to make all these parts because once I put this in I don't want to have to take it out again that's going to be where it lives it's gonna, I'm not going to mess around with it anymore um, um, you know, unless it breaks and I have to take it out, well, then I'll ha have to figure out how to get it out of there. But essentially, I'm bolting it back in pretty much the same way the Fetters air conditioner was bolted in. So it'll be secure, it won't move around. And I'm confident uh, that I figured out why it wasn't doing what it should be doing. And of course, I got my understanding of that once again from road track i marvel at the things they do uh, when they installed this air conditioner obviously whoever did it knew exactly what they were doing when it came to air conditioning because they created uh, an outlet for the hot air and an inlet to draw in cooler air into those side vents something I, I can modify their existing plumbing, so to speak, and make it work with this smaller air conditioner. And that was uh, a big thank you that I said to Road Trek. So hopefully this may have helped somebody. If it did, please like and subscribe and uh, share the video if you'd like to. And comment as you see fit. So till next time, we're still working on this air conditioner and it's going to be in there real soon. So till next time, uh, thanks for watching. So long.